Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So after many years of service, as many of you will know, Microsoft ended support and removed the Internet Explorer web browser, which was in service for give or take 27 years or so. Now, as I have mentioned previously, in its final days, uh, most of the users of the Internet Explorer browser were corporations and enterprises uh, whose legacy systems were um, still tied into the legacy aspect of the Internet Explorer browser. And um, when Microsoft did finally pull the plug um, on Internet Explorer, they obviously wanted um, the users of the browser to migrate over to the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge web browser. So because of this, they introduced an Internet Explorer mode into Edge, which basically bridges the gap between the older Internet Explorer browser and the new Edge browser. So um, it's used, as many of you will know, to visit older websites and um, legacy websites that aren't supported by the more modern um, browsers like the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge web browser. So that's just a brief background on uh, the Internet Explorer browser and Internet Explorer mode. Now, in regards to Internet Explorer mode, um, as I posted earlier today, Microsoft is testing a couple of um, updates uh, in builds in the release preview channel of Windows 10 and Windows 11 and all of those builds actually had fixes for Internet Explorer mode in the Microsoft Edge web browser and this drew my attention to the fact and uh, because of this um, that uh, this may be a good time to show you how you can actually enable and use Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge in case you didn't know. So just a quick video to show you how to do that in case you were unaware. Now first of all um, we need to navigate to the menu in the top right click on settings and then navigate to default browser and on the default browser page here you get Internet Explorer compatibility and we need to configure a couple of settings if it hasn't done so already. Let Internet Explorer open sites in Microsoft Edge. The recommended is always but I would suggest uh, just select incompatible sites only at least select incompatible sites only and allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode obviously you want to choose um, allow and then something else I would suggest just as a quick shortcut uh, is to head down um, on the appearance page and if it hasn't done so already uh, toggle on Internet Explorer mode button make sure that's on and that will place the uh, the Internet Explorer mode button in the top right of the toolbar for easy access if you are visiting older websites on a regular basis now, obviously, we need to head over to a legacy and older website. And I'm just going to use Wikipedia as an example for today's video. And already you can see that the uh, button has already lit up. And to uh, activate and enable Internet Explorer mode, you just need to click on that toggle, that shortcut button. And yeah, obviously, next to the, uh, the left-hand side of the address bar, we get the uh, Internet Explorer mode icon. And in the menu, this page is open in Internet Explorer mode. And here we get a couple of options. You can open this page in compatibility view, uh, which speaks for itself. And you can open this page in Internet Explorer mode next time. So if you are visiting a certain website or web page uh, regularly and um, it is an older website and you need uh, to view it uh, in Internet Explorer mode, you can just keep that on so the next time you visit that page you don't have to go through all the steps as we have gone through today uh, in this in this video and obviously um, uh, Microsoft does want you to open websites uh, using Microsoft Edge but I'm just using Wikipedia as an example of a legacy website and that's how you enable Internet Explorer mode uh, in the Edge web browser which as I, says, uh, I mentioned earlier is bridging the gap between the older Internet Explorer browser and the new Chromium based Edge um, and just helps you to view um, older websites and legacy websites if you are prone to visiting those um, on a regular basis. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.